Attentional security personnel. Chaos insurgents have entered Sector 1. Your objective is to suppress the Chaos Insurgent Raid. Attention all site personnel. The Serpent's Hand have infiltrated the facility and are currently in Sector 1. At this time we need all combatant personnel to begin evacuation efforts of anomalous objects and site personnel. The protection of the anomalous objects is our number one priority. Mobile task force personnel have been alerted and are currently inbound. We also ask that any non-combatant personnel to please arm themselves. After evacuations have been completed. Mobile Task Force Unit Zeta-9, designated the Mole Rats, have arrived through Gate B. We are currently experiencing a strong breach event, and a lot of anomalous objects that are capable of warping the space around them have breached containment. Uh... By the looks of it, this is a very dangerous situation that all of us are in right now. We ask for everyone to remain calm, and to frequently switch between the rooms that you are all currently in. There is no telling when the space around us will warp and change. Zeta-9 will announce when the site has been cleared of all space warping anomalous objects. Mobile Task Force Unit Omega-1, designated the law's left hand, has landed on Helipad B. They have been requested by members of the Ethics Committee to help reinforce their orders. Personnel with Level 3 clearance and above, please check your Foundation-issued emails for a debriefing. Omega-1 will leave the site once the Ethics Committee has completed their full evaluation. Mobile Task Force Unit New 7 designated Hammer Down, has landed on Helipad A. Due to the fact that this site is experiencing a mass containment failure and multiple power outages, Hammer Down was dispatched to this site instead of Mobile Task Force Unit 9-tailed Fox. We estimate the situation will be under control within two hours. We will start announcing additional status reports in regards of containment and the restoration of power. Mobile Task Force Unit Beta-7. Designated the Maz Hatters have landed on Helipad C, as well as Mobile Task Force Unit Delta-7. Designated Cloud-9. Beta-7 has been dispatched to this site to assist in the recontainment of several biohazardous SCPs. We advise all personnel to find a safe area away from others, and if possible to please cover your nose and mouth with a face mask. Mobile Task Force Unit Delta-7 will begin evacuation efforts after all biohazardous SCPs have been recontained. Mobile Task Force Unit Mu-13, designated the Ghostbusters, have landed on Helipad C. The site is currently undergoing a heavy amount of paranormal anomalous activity. If at any moment the lights flicker or anything comes off its respective shelf, please report it to the Ghostbusters immediately. Secondary Security Forces, please report to Armory 4C to receive a Class 4 Proton Pack provided by the Ghostbusters. We are currently in a Level 2 lockdown. If you need to go through a checkpoint that is locked down, please radio control to request the lockdown be lifted for passing. Mobile Task Force Unit Lambda 5. Designated the White Rabbits have landed on Helipad B. We advise all personnel to please not trust your senses. As we are currently experiencing a strong reality bending event, do not even trust the inter- Trust nobody. Lambda-5 will announce when the site has been cleared of all reality-bending and mimetic hazards. Mobile Task Force Unit Alpha-9, designated the Last Hope, has landed on Helipad B. This site is experiencing multiple breaches of anomalous objects and several Keter-class SCPs. Due to this fact, other SCP objects have been assigned to contain the escaped anomalies. SCP-105 has landed with Mobile Task Force Unit Last Hope. She is capable of manipulating any space around her with an anomalous camera. Once the situation is under control, Alpha-9 will start giving additional status reports and containment announcements.
Mobile Task Force Unit Lesh-1, designated the seat of consciousness, has entered through Gate B. They have been dispatched to this site to reinforce security for arrival of the Administrator, who has also landed with Resh-1. Mobile Task Force Alpha-1 will also be working closely with Resh-1. Absolutely no contact is to be made with the Administrator with personnel under Level 5 clearance. Since the Administrator is on site, we are now under a Level 5 security lockdown. Once the Administrator and members of Resh-1 have left the site, the lockdown will be lifted and personnel will be allowed to carry out their normal duties again. Attention all site personnel. Mobile Task Force Alpha-1, designated the Red Right Hand, has landed on Helipad A, as well as members of the O5 Council. Personnel with Level 3 clearance and below are to evacuate the site immediately. An Alpha-1 operative will be assisting in the evacuation efforts. For any questions or inquiries, Please contact your supervisor for more information.